How's it feel, Mimir? Well, I wouldn't say I'm feeling whole again, but it's a right improvement. The Bifrost is intact. It'll serve. Then we have all we need. Finally, we're going to Yudna. There's no stopping us now. Laddie, have you ever heard the term tempting fate? So how do we get back out? We signal. Oh god, what's going on? Well, that was mildly terrifying. Maybe our presence is upsetting Jormungandr's belly. No. Something is wrong. What's happening to him? Nothing good. Glad that's over. Is he getting hit? What is that? We must hurry. Couldn't agree more, brother. this what happened to him something we did no something else a dead giant why would the serpent leave us here look Still trust her, right? Until we know for certain, keep her distance. The world serpent. What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home. I'm looking for my son. The two of you. You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago. Before you were even born. Why are you standing so far from me? What's wrong? Something's happened. I had a feeling that hurting the big snake would bring the two of you out in the open. Do you have any idea, any idea at all, what you have cost me? My boy. I'm here. Don't run away. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, Mother. I know that you're still angry. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you to... How, how I feel? How I feel? I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. I've rehearsed everything I ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, I realize 
I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you at all. No, back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do. This path you walk. Vengeance. You will find no peace. I know. You... I'll deal with you later. But family first. <clears throat> this again? Turn away, boy. This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him. No, boy. Fine. Stop! No! no! Atreus! You're bleeding. Breathe, boy. Breathe! Not my blood. <clears throat> I can feel this. Oh. Oh. I can feel everything. Oh, no! <laughs> He's vulnerable now. Coming back now. Now he remembers. Is he controlling that thing? Stay out of it! I can reason with him! No, woman! You cannot! He means to kill you! You can't stop me! No one can! Where is he? I don't care if he kills me. I will protect him. I will not let him die. Now, touch. This will all be over soon. Oh, I'm standing! 
Atreus! Atreus! I'm up here! I'm okay! And I'm doing wonderful! I have never felt so alive! Stop this! Father himself could not. I've never felt more alive. Oh, ironic, isn't it? What? Yeah. 
Stop interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I wa- I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness, we can build something new. <laughs> Paid. But if that alone will make you whole, if seeing me dead will make things right, I won't stop. imaginable upon you. I will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm 
and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. He saved your life. He robbed me of everything. <laughs> everything. You were just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy. Listen close. I am from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with the god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this how it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you be. We must be better. Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. this journey while I still have strength. I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live, yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a... ...better place with Freya in it. Just... Give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Why did Baldur say we crossed him? Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break his gun? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. It's also bloody tragic. Baldur was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. I can't believe Odin and Freya were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Bjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Weird. Once Bjorgun was gone, lonely ages passed for Odin. And as war with the Vanya raged, I could see what he really wanted because of the and after no small amount of convincing, Freya agreed. 
For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. Granted are so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Oh, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. Or I can just tell you the story later. You scare up that alchemist what needed finding? <clears throat> Go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. Alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If you're smart. I can't believe we're back in hell. At least we're not on the side of the bridge where those visions will torture us. It's so cold. My spit freezes when I talk. All right, what'd you bring?
focus up. Focus up! Yes. 